All right, so I haven't done one of these in a while and I'm feeling this desire to just kind of let it flow because any place where I have fear or anxiety, I just kind of want to let go of these fears that if I'm seen in these places that all the different homeostasises are going to get thrown off because you see that I have desire for things that I simultaneously judge, like the longing for a great love story. A love story where I meet he and he meets me and together we come together and become we. And it's like the parts of me that we're waiting to be opened, connect purpose purposely and beautifully with the parts of him that wants to offer devotion. And there's been this deconditioning that occurs for the past several years, looking at the parts of myself that want to sacrifice who I am to jump on someone else's boat, where it's not about me showing up as a whole and him showing up as a whole and us uniting together, but instead me thinking that I am not enough. But perhaps if I jump on his ship, I can sail away with him, escape my circumstances, and finally be happy. Oh, gee whiz, what a recipe for disaster. So let's say the past three years I've been deconditioning myself from that model, deconditioning myself from societal monogamy to really just to figure out who I am, who is this, who is this me. Aloha Kelly, aloha Nicole, aloha everyone here wanting to connect from this place of Ariel figuring out what does my love story look like? I have these beautiful men in my life right now who nourish my mind, my body, my heart, my sex, my soul in so many beautiful ways. I can feel my heart opening and connecting with my sex and the truth of the matter is that's all me because I've made a decision to be fully in my body, not separating my heart from my sex or my mind from my soul, but allowing for all of them to weave together in this magical unfoldment. And I do desire this love story, but not at the expense of my sovereignty because I've got great things to do in this world. And if every time I get into a relationship with a man, I forget that I can accomplish great things. I am here to accomplish great things. And simultaneously, I'm also here to be and receive deliciously. And I truly do believe that there are certain things that I cannot accomplish on my own. And there are certain places where opening up and being in union will allow me to more fully step into my throne. So it's this interesting exploration of how do I hold this deep desire without placing it on any man who walks into my path, even if that sex is fucking great. Even if he meets me, even if we have like minds and like bodies and like hearts, how do I know? How do I choose? How do I make it so that I don't have to lose who I am in order to open my heart and become a more full aspect of who I am? A teacher of mine, Nicole Daydone, once said that you can't tickle yourself you can't take yourself out of control. You need someone else to tickle you to let you feel that involuntary in your body and open it up. And that's what I'm craving. That's what I'm feeling. And I have these bits and pieces from these different men in my life and really starting to figure out for myself, what does it mean for someone to be my partner? And I might have more than one because you don't really know. Ultimately, I feel like I want one primary partner. And maybe it'll be fun to play a little bit outside of that in connected ways where it adds to the nutrient of the relationship. And I can feel that desire for that one person that I anchor in deeply with exploring the depths of who we are and the magic that can be created when two people show up willingly, vulnerably, openly in chemistry, desiring to explore the magnificent chaos that is connection. So that's the exploration that I'm in. And it's been something that I continually have to re-begin because I continue to grow and evolve. So ultimately, I feel that any partnership or partnerships that I bring in will need to be able to grow and evolve with me like puzzle pieces that are continually altering based upon who are you now? Who are you now? But who are you now? 
And how do we continue to stay in resonance where the intention is, my desire is for me to be happy and free. And my desire is just as much for you to be happy and free. And how do we come together with such clear intention, not needing to descend into old ways of being where I can support him and he can support me in being free and more fully expressed in the truth of who I truly am because I do feel that possibility and I refuse to abandon hope because I don't see too many things happening clearly in that way in relationship. So that is what I stand for because what we need now more than ever is men and women being able to connect honestly, open-heartedly, truthfully, in love, in devotion, in community, in sex, in clarity. There is beauty in this place and in this ode to the love story that I long for, yes, there is no shame in that desire and for the man that meets me in this place, I will summon him just as he shall summon me as I rub my belly feeling the deliciousness of our chemistry. I'm curious who you are. Are you very far or are you very close to me? Are you in my life? Are you someone new? Who are you and what will we create together? What are we creating together already? How can I stay so present here and simultaneously hold the vision for all that is possible in communion, in connection with you? I love you. And this isn't just the you, this is the universal you. I love every single fucking one of us who is exploring these questions, these inquiries. How do we create connected, conscious reculturing of community? Because it all begins with our individual relationships. The micro is a reflection of the macro. And this is how we change the world together. Through our individual relationships. Through our ability to hold space through our ability to notice our triggers and not fall immediately into reaction, but instead ask the question, what's happening here? When women can stand up and be strong enough in their own masculine that we can hold space for a man to unravel and surrender and break down because we don't need him to be our savior. And when a man can be solid and connected enough to his feminine that he can hold a woman in her wildness, and all the places. <laughs>